Be ready five second. Start. Sir, I have been hearing the members' views about electoral reforms based on the resolution moved by the honorable member. Basically, this resolution deals with the postponement of elections by the election commission during the recent elections. From the postponement of these elections, the mover of the resolution suggests that we should go in for electoral reforms. The other members who have spoken have also given some valuable suggestions for the proposed electoral reforms. We, from the Congress party, are committed for electoral reforms which will enable the voter to reflect his views and elect proper candidates who he would like to get into power. I agree with some of the suggestions made by the honorable members. From the days we have seen a number of elections. Broadly, except one or two elections, the choice of our voters has been correct. They have been choosing the right party which did good to the people. Most of them are poor but still they have been going in the right direction. Democracy in the country has been established and is going to continue in this country. But from the experience from elections to election, we have to think of some changes so that the will of the people will prevail. We have just now heard Mr. Subramaniam Swami how there, was a postponement in the last election when Sri Rajiv Gandhi was murdered. There was a dispute about the period of nearly 20 days postponement. It looked as if it was like a second election. In three days some of us have faced three elections which we cannot afford, Mr. Subramaniam Swami explained. Perhaps a member in the same cabinet was responsible who did not know the facts. The effect of postponement has to be studied in the election. The first postponement after the death of Sri Rajiv Gandhi was from the 26th to 11th, 12th, 16th. Some people feel that the Punjab elections should not have been postponed or that the election commission has arbitrarily done it. Sir, the election commission feels that the decision was taken by the commission independent of any extraneous influence on the basis of the information available to it and in the possession of the commission in the interest of the security of so many people. They feel that they should not reveal the reports they have received. As far as the first postponement of Punjab election is concerned, according to the commission it is on the basis of the recommendation of the Home Minister. So the honorable member who was then in the Home Ministry should have known that it was postponed at the instance of the Home Ministry. These three postponements and also the other reasons should be taken into consideration when we think of electoral reforms. In this election, one factor which has come out prominently is booth capturing, 
lawlessness and the ballot papers being taken away. These things must be seriously considered. Sir, the government from the very beginning has been thinking of electoral reforms and has also done so many things. A number of committees have been appointed. Recently the previous government also appointed a committee. And it was a unanimous decision. Depending upon this some bills were introduced to amend the Constitution and the Representation of the People Act. All the bill were moved by one minister who is not present here, unfortunately, for the amendment of the Constitution and the Representation of People Act. To have been passed, but the other three bills are pending before the House. Sir, we want to pursue those bills but not immediately. We must get the report of the elections from the states and also the election commission. We have to go deep into the matter before enacting laws. After receiving the reports, we must go deep into the matter. First of all, we have to make up our mind and also consult various parties and try to bring a legislation which will stand for two or three decades. Every time if we pass a resolution in the house and change it next time it will not be good. Now the elections are over and we have time. We have to think of any act, any bill which will stand for a long time. A number of suggestions have come. The pending bills now are Constitution Bill 1990, Constitution Bill 1991 and another amending bill. A bill regarding Chief Election Commissioner has already been passed. After getting the report from the Election Commission, and also from various states we will have to analyze the situation. One other fact which has been mentioned is that violence in this election has increased compared to other elections. From 1989 to 90, the violence has increased in every state except one state. This is the fact which is worrying everybody. It has to be stopped. The statistics are with me regarding both capturing and taking away of ballot papers which I have collected. Stop. Like, comment, share and subscribe.